Let's get the tea, let's get the juice, whatever. I'm not gonna get any of that because your girl. Not hungry, you have to keep this shit. Hey, pretties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a girl talk with your girl Icy. I should call these Icy Talks, right? Anyways, today's video, we're gonna be doing a Icy Talk. Icy Girl Talk, because we Icy Girls. Period, poo. So, yeah, guys, or Pretty Girls, Pretty Talk. I don't know what to call it, guys. Comment down below what you guys should call it. But I asked you guys, 3 o'clock. No, yeah, 3 o'clock this morning to ask me some questions for this girl talk because I've been feeling for this girl talk, so I'm gonna I'm do it today. So let's start with the first question. I have to hurry up because my phone is literally gonna die. I have 11%. Like, oh my god. So the first question is what are the products you you use or recommend? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're talking about, you know, skincare. I don't know what you're talking about makeup. But like, for skincare, I like to use. Anyways, for skincare, I like to use. Um, well, I have. My dermatologist gives me, like, stuff to use. I low key be forgetting to use half of it. But anyways, I hope she's not watching this. <laughs> yeah, she gives me that and I also like to use Cetaphil for moisturizing, especially if you have dry skin like me. I have dry to oily skin, so it gets dry at first and then it gets oily. It's stupid. And especially since skin in hot outside, you wanna make sure you have like a moisturizer on deck all the time. And also sunscreen, so yeah. Or sunscreen inside the moisturizer. They have that. Sorry guys, my eyes is burning. Now once I burning when I want to record, like. Oh yeah, you also want to fo focus on products that stay like in your skin type, basically. Like I try to look for products that, that stay sensitive skin because I have eczema on my face. I have eczema all over my body, so I look for stuff that says sensitive in general. I have sensitive teeth, I have sensitive face, skin, whatever. I got it all, so I need sensitive everything. You want to look for products that deal with your skin type. Like I have dry to oily skin, like I told you guys. So you need to look for just, like products that have dry to oily skin. You don't want to buy a product that for dry skin and your skin is normal skin like that's no that's the total opposite so and for makeup i really like juvia's place eyeshadow palette like pigments like the pigment of the palette of the eyeshadow is a1 i love it i also like tart shaped is it sharp no not tart shaped i never even had that once in a while it's um Too faced born this way multi scopes concealer i don't know how to say it but i use that for my eyebrows i really really like that um i also like i mean if you watch my makeup videos like when i do my makeup or get ready me in general you have to see what i use i use the same thing consistently for contour i like to use black radiance because it's for black people so you know yeah i like to use the cream contour now because i feel like the cream contour really like gives you a contour like a sculpture in your face i can see the difference when i used to use powder contour it was really no different i was really just adding powder on my face for no reason my elf foundation i love that so much it's the elf flawless finish foundation i love that so much and it's only six dollars so come on like you can't go wrong with six dollars so kissing another topic is kissing i feel like the appropriate age to kiss i mean you're is, kissing is pretty innocent you know like a little peck, a little something. It's innocent, you know? It's like, I don't know. A lot of people just do it just like off it. Like their instinct just tells them to kiss somebody. I mean, like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I understand if, if like, parents play, like, oh, that's grown. I understand that completely, but my opinion, I don't think it's grown. It's, I don't know. Like, I feel like the appropriate age. Like, I have a friend that still hasn't kissed nobody. I'm not gonna say her name, but she knows who I'm talking about because she's watching my videos. She hasn't kissed nobody. She never had a boyfriend at all. It's crazy. Sorry, my finger is really like. But anyways, so yeah, I mean, like, you kiss when you want to kiss, I don't know, but, like, I feel like it's so innocent, like, I don't know, you can't go wrong, unless you try to do something wrong, that's the whole different story, so. My first kiss, what was my first kiss? Like, my real first kiss, like, actual first kiss was, like, fifth grade, eh, it was so yucky. So this one is a good question I really want to talk about, a lot of you guys haven't asked me this, that's why I really want to talk about this so you guys can get my, you know, my opinion. So what do you do if you're in a toxic relationship but you still love that person? So I've been in a talk I've been in a toxic relationship so I know what it is and what to go, all that, all that. And I love that person. But at the same time, it's like if they're not respecting you, if they're not loving you, you wanna have to like realize that I understand that you probably love them, you know, of course you're still there unless you're against your will, that's a whole different whole different topic. But I'm sorry my I'm uh, I'm using my hand like this, like mad weird. It's cause like it's so Mm, numb, not numb, but like sensitive right now. I don't really want to bother it. But anyways, um, okay, yeah, you have to think about it. Like, do they really respect me? Do they even love me? Who loves who more? Like, if you love them, like you can love somebody more than they love you. I mean, not that's not. I feel like if you if some if you, <laughs> okay, I feel like just in general, if you love a person more than they love you, automatically your relationship is not gonna work out because you're gonna be doing the most while they're doing 
nothing and I've been there and I've done that so and they love you more it's gonna be like you just basically taking, taking advantage of them out of, after a certain point so and it's, you're gonna be miserable because like I don't even like this <laughs> I don't even like this boy or girl or whatever I'm just with them make them happy you know what I'm saying after a while if you just if y'all continue that relationship know that one love one more than the other y'all relationship gonna be for the lies y'all gonna be miserable for the whole time y'all gonna waste the whole your whole lives for nothing y'all could have been with somebody that you actually care about and no you had to act like you care for somebody just to make the other person happy no if you're not doing you how you're supposed to be done gotta go been and done that it's not pretty it's not fun i know when it when you see it, it's like oh yeah i'm a toxic relationship like i did that before i can't lie i mean but like i don't know like it's, I don't know. When, when you in it, it's different. It's like a different standpoint. I don't know, it's a lot of different toxic relationships. It could be like abusive. It could be like verbally abusive. It depends. It all depends on how you feel. If you feel bad, then you gotta get out of it. Period. Cause they could turn you into the person that you don't want to be. They could change your life for the worse. It's never for the better. All right. Somebody asked me, "What are you completely over and done with?" Okay. This is a question. When I saw it, I was like, "Yes, girl. Yes." What I'm completely over and done with is like people that try to like use me for clout or use me for certain shit or try to use like only contact me when it benefits them. I've been there done that with mad YouTubers or like mad people in general and I hate that. Like I don't like that at all. I know genuine people, I know the difference between genuine people and not genuine people. And I don't like when they try to play me like I'm stupid. It's like bro, just tell me the truth. If you just want me to shout you out, if you just want me to do this, just say that. Don't be doing all this extra shit, yeah, 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 with me, trying to be all cool with me, and then once I do it, you don't text me or don't talk to me. I don't like, I don't like that because me, I'm personally, they so called call me Hollywood, but I'm really not. But they call me that, but like, I don't like that. Like, I really don't like that at all. What I'm over is people that use me, like, just use me in general, like I said. And I don't have no, my phone no more because, yeah, I'm over it. Oh, that sh all that. That's so, that's so annoying to me because I feel like you should just tell me the truth because it'll be a lot better for me. You know, instead of like just thinking that we're gonna have a bond or something, I don't really honestly think that from everybody all the time. It's just that, I don't know, I just feel like if you're gonna say something to somebody, you should mean it, I guess. I don't know. I'm not the type of person that's like so iffy about what you say, like, oh, if you said you have to do it, you know what I'm saying? That's not me. I hate people like that. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, I feel like people just like, sorry, I'm, I'm watching something while I'm actually doing a video. It's like people just try to like play me, and I don't like that. Like, especially when they like, ooh. I'm <laughs> Let me, let me just continue. So like, let's say if I'm texting somebody, right? And they text, they consistently text me, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden they started to like, stop texting me. I don't know, it's like, I tell you shit, like we talking every single day, so you know how I feel, like, you know that I, you know I know how I feel, you know how I feel. You know how it should be, I'm saying, like. I'm not talking about if it was a boy or whatever. I'm talking about friends or people in general. I'm not just talking about a boy, I'm talking about people in general. Like, don't text me 24 seven and then stop texting me and think it's okay. And then you wanna post on Instagram or whatever and not text me back but like when I, I don't text them back it's always like oh she's hollywood she thinks she all that she get all these subscribers don't know how to act like no girl you do it to me i'm gonna do that to you that's just that what the fuck you thought this was and the thing i don't like i forgot dang it was with you oh i don't like when well, like haters i don't like people that comment on my instagram posts that's ne like negatively like i feel like when they see like those 600 comments or like 800 comments are just positive they have to be the only person out of the 800 to say something negative like how are you gonna be that that one 799 i mean not one of 700 that one of 800 so 70, 799 people was so nice to me positive and he was that one person that was negative and being rude to me for no reason i don't like that it's like like what did i do let me know what did i do because you're just a hater that's just that and they be following me on instagram too so i don't understand like are you like do you like me or like you just be watching like you a troll are you watching me for your friend because i blocked her like which one is it i'm gonna block you too and what y'all gonna do get another girl because i'm gonna block her too you keep on playing this game like what you want to do like stop it so i despise that i don't like that because when you reply to the hate comment because i feel like what i don't like is i feel like people be like oh she an influencer she so she's not supposed to reply she a youtuber a big youtuber i'm not really i'm big where i'm at like where i'm from brooklyn is big over here i hate when people when you reply to them like somebody be like let's say everybody's commenting you look so bomb everything look perfect blah, blah. somebody be like oh your eyebrows look too thick or you look ugly or like you look fat i don't know something like that you know it's like why have to be that one person to say something about me when 799 people were so nice to me and then I hate when like people be reacting to the comment that I be following me too. It's like I'm gonna block you. So just so y'all like remember this, if y'all watching, that be doing that. If you react to somebody's comment 
like love it and they trying to be funny you know they be trying to be funny and you comment under like mfao i'm blocking you and i'm blocking that person too because what that's what you're not gonna do and what i used to do i used to text people that I used to block i mean just comment negatively negative negatively on my stuff i'll be like um do we have a problem like why are you commenting that stuff and they will always bro 99.9999999999 percent of the time they're gonna say to, they say to me Oh, it was just a joke. I just want to see you going to reply. I love you so much. Oh my god, you actually replied. I was just playing. I love you so much. Like, don't play me with that. I don't like that. Everybody says that to get out of something. Don't play with me. I'm from New York. And especially, like, New York people, like, we're really aggressive. So, if you talk crazy, we could tell from a text message. Just letting you know. So, it's waiting until tomorrow. Maybe he fell asleep. What the fuck? Back to the question. Sorry, my friend called me. Of course, about her boyfriend. Everybody's always calling me my boyfriend, but... Do you see me doing that? No. What is the worst thing about being in a relationship? The worst thing is arguing. It could be arguing because like, I don't know. Because you know like when you first have a relationship, it's like you never would think about arguing. You know it's going to argue. Y'all going to argue at one point, but y'all will never. You don't know how long it's going to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how long y'all going to be arguing? Or, not how long. Like, how much you're going to be arguing. Like, how consistent it's going to be. You don't know if it's going to be. Because you know when the first start out, of course you're going to show your best sides. Y'all going to show your best sides to attract each other to each other. It doesn't make any sense at all. So of course you're not going to like show like how do i say you're not gonna show y'all i don't know y'all other side because you never know a person until i've been in a relationship for so long like i've been in a relationship for almost three years and trust me i'm not the same person that i met and it is a good and bad person you know what i'm saying it's always a good person always a bad person nobody's ever perfect nobody's ever just peaches and like, oh my god he's the perfect boyfriend we never argue sis if you think you're not gonna argue i'm gonna argue at one point that's just that how do i know a homie is into me all right so mm, when you know a boy is into you is or a girl whichever you're talking about um you'll know by how they act around you some people are like they act they're different i can't lie some people are real different real different <laughs> they don't really act how they you know what i'm saying like nah people don't be acting the same all the time like some people be like really lovey, lovey dovey and flirty and whatever that's the bold, you know, the bold people that like you, like they bold as hell, like they're like, oh, I want her, and be blah, 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 oh, I want him, mm. you know, all touchy, I don't like that shit, that's something like, and it's the people that's like subtle with it, you know, it's like, okay, you know, a little pat, pat there, here and there, pat, 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 whatever, <laughs> sorry, I was reading something, then it's the people that's like, mm -mm. <laughs> like, they just like don't do nothing, it's just like, I'm gonna treat you like you a bro, bro, if you don't try to show no emotion. All depends, but like, I feel like when you know somebody like you, it's like when they always wanna be around you and surface yourself around you a lot, it's like, oh, okay. They obviously like me or something like that. What do you do when you love somebody but they have a girlfriend? Ah. Uh, well, okay. I just went from haters to like, love somebody when they have a girlfriend. I don't know. I mean, like, was y'all going out or something? Like, you have to, you have to tell me, like, this stuff. Cause, I don't know. Like, if you love somebody to have a significant other, whatever, I don't know. You have to forget about them or something or somehow. I don't know. How you have to block my relationship, I mean, your life, because them being close to you is not gonna work out. Y'all trying to be friends and be besties are cool. It's not gonna work out because it's just like, um, like, you're, <laughs> you wanna be close with that person. Like, you're feeling to be close to that person or you love that person, but they have somebody else. Unless y'all broke up and, like, they got a new girlfriend or whatever, then that's, like, you mm, should just go. Because if they got somebody else, that means they don't care about you. They don't love you back, so. And no point of, like, even, like, trying to do anything or work something out. If y'all have feelings for each other, but, like, he's stuck in that relationship, if he's stuck there, that's his problem. That's not your problem. To help him get out of it, you need to just move on and just block him out of your life. That's what I would do. I'm dead. So much relationship advice, I'm gonna really kill this. <laughs> tell you, tell your mom you wanna start birth control. I mean, I never I never had took him well act for that because I never like took birth control ever. Um, you don't even have to ask if you don't want to ask because um my school, when my school is, they'll like give you whatever you want, like pertains to like pills, like birth control or like plan B pills. I don't know if that's the same thing. I think birth control is like when you constantly are having like having intercourse and whatever. Like, unprotected, I think. Like, without using protection. I don't know. And I think plan B is, like, yeah, I did it that one time. And then you scared, like, oh, my gosh. Like, what if I'm pregnant or whatever. And you want to get rid of it. Or uh, you're not really getting rid of it because it really didn't, like, grow kind of yet. But, yeah. I think they give you both of that if you want it. And they give you other stuff. But, like, all you got to, if you can't, my school, they like, all you have to do is just, like, sign some papers and then they could just give you like free things whatever you need you could like see them like you would see your own doctor like you could have the doctor with your mom and then have the doctor by yourself if you want to do that if you feel like more comfortable because you don't want to talk about that stuff with your parents that's understandable people don't want to talk about stuff with their parents and i think 
in my school, you can have one friend with you if, the, if you're scared to be by yourself because a lot, of people, a lot of people feel uncomfortable in the doctor's office by themselves. Like, I do. i never been by myself. I'm always with my mom, but, like, when my mom will step out when they ask me, like, questions about, like, if I'm having sex or, like, am I depressed or something. I don't know. Sometimes I don't really feel that awkward, but I under, I will understand how somebody else would feel. You know, that's why they don't want to, like, I don't know, be by themselves. That's why they bring people. So I think you can have somebody with you. I just could, I think you just have to talk to them and be like, you know, I don't feel comfortable with myself. Until I get more comfortable, can I have somebody with me to start it off? And then, yeah, go from there. But, yeah, when my school works, you I don't have to ask my mom if I want to take it because they just give it to you. But you have to, like, research it if your school does that, too. Like, first of all, ask your school, do they have that? Like, ask your school nurse, do they have that? Because they made a clinic in my school. It's a school nurse, and then you can go to the clinic. They're two different things. Like, the clinic is actual, like, real doctors. They give, they have real reports and everything. But they won't show it to your parents because you're going to sign it off. Like, no, only me to see private, whatever. But, like, like, a lot of my friends do it, whatever. But, like... That don't mean that they're having sex. Like, people just want to, like, get themselves checked down there without their parents there for their own reasons. So, that's a whole different story. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, if you feel uncomfortable, I mean, if you could do that, you could do that. But search it up if you can. Like, just get it from the school. Just be like, you know, um, like, what is the, the, the side effects and stuff like that? Because I have friends that take it. Sometimes they break out. Sometimes their skin gets a lot better. That's why they take it in the first place. Some of them get their periods really bad. Some of them don't get their periods at all. Or they get it, like, a little bit. Or, like, it, the, it relieves the pain. It's supposed to relieve the pain. I don't know if that's really true. And, yeah. I mean, that's up to you. It's your decision. They have different birth control things. I think she said pills, though. She said pills? She just said birth control. I think... They, have they do have different birth controls, I think. You could take the pills, you could take the thing in your arm, the needle. It lasts, like, a couple of months, I think. But you could see it. My friend got it, you could see it. It looks so nasty. But that one, you need your parents for that one. So if you just want to get the pills, you can get the pills if your school allows it. Now, to answer your question, finally, um, if you have to ask your parents, just talk to them about it. I don't know what your reason is. It could be a lot of reasons. You could tell, like, it's for my period cramps. They really bother me. And the other pain medicine not working. You could tell her, like, oh, um, well, I'm not... I'm trying to give excuses but like if this is the reason why you want to tell her you know what i'm saying you could like if you were trying to say like i don't know what else could you be doing it for whatever reason you got just talk to her let her try to understand you like you know mom um i really want to take birth control pills like if you're interested in having sex then she like you know i'm being honest with you i'm interested in having sex but i don't want to use protection so can i just get birth control pills and start that off so or so just saying you're not interested in protection because they would probably be scared be like okay I don't want to like get pregnant and I feel like if I take if I use the condom and I use birth control pills then I'm better up like I'm 100% probably not gonna get pregnant at all because we both everybody knows that both of those things the condom and birth control is like 99.9% per, .9 prove them to work or whatever but that 1% you can get pregnant or whatever which is really low but you, if you want to be more, like you know better safe than sorry then yeah just do that you could just tell her like if you tell them the truth then they're gonna like understand you some of them like might just be like no i'm not doing that i'm not feeling that but if you really like tell the truth then i'm pretty sure they're gonna understand i had to get rid of fake friends honestly i just block people <laughs> that's what i've been doing like if you i don't know what you consider a fake friend but a fake friend to me is like you just text me when it benefits you you just like call me when it benefits you i hate people text me at FaceTime me or call me every single day about just YouTube, helping them with YouTube. Like, I would love to help you. That's what friends do. But when you're constantly just talking to me about YouTube, 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 it's like, okay, girl. Like, that's what you just want me for. It's for YouTube. I'm not the YouTube expert. I can help you with everything. You know what I'm saying? And then when I don't text them back, it's always, oh, you think you are that, blah, blah, blah. When somebody says it to you, that's not a good friend and you should, like, exit them out your life. Just block them. And if they're harassing you, then I want to invite you to, like, try to solve it yourself i would advise you to like file a complaint because that's what we do 2020 we done touching people so what you're gonna do is just file a complaint how to get over your ex all right so if you got feelings for your ex i don't really i don't know i don't want to lie and be like i never have feelings, like i stopped having feelings with my ex i don't know because i feel like the feelings that i had was like not even real feelings i just had that in my mind because like i wanted i wanted to feel like i had feelings i don't know it's weird but i don't think i really had really feelings for it any of my exes because it was like kitty relationship it was nothing serious i had but i really only had one boyfriend and it really wasn't that serious it was just playing games like he was the first person i did like everything with like i that's the first boy i ever went on dates with and like went out with i get over stuff really fast if i don't really care you know like i cared about him but like not like oh my god like crying hysterically just only i was not gonna do that because i was like 
I mean, if that was his choice and that's what he wanted to do, I can't really, like, complain or, like, because I'm not take the bake for you back. I don't do that at all. Unless I really care about you, obviously. But, like, for any other reason, like, if you play with me and, like, you make it seem like you care and then, like, you just say, like, you make your own decision, it's, like, whatever. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, my gosh, no, 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 you know? Whatever. So, yeah, that's how I do it. I just, like, distance myself. I just, like I said, with the fake friends, I block. I blocked him the same day we broke up and so I don't and I text I texted him a big paragraph and then I blocked him so I don't know if he texted me back or not he probably didn't and yes I never know if he texted me back or not because he's still blocked to this day can men change after cheating uh yeah I don't know it depends on the person that they with like if they really love the girl I'm pretty sure they could change if not I mean once no I don't I was about to say like yeah you know how people like once to cheat always to cheat I don't think that's always true because if you really care about somebody like you can be with that one person and cheat with them non-stop but when you get with a person that you really really love even though you claim that you love the other person it's a difference like you could tell me you love somebody when you don't love somebody and when you're just saying it you know what i'm saying and you, when you're showing it so i feel like boys cheat on girls because they're like still immature and they're growing up or like they just don't care whatever the, whatever their reason is and i feel like they i guess they get tired of cheating or whatever tired of whatever and they get with somebody and they just stop cheating because it's like i really did all that and i don't like it or like i'm tired of it it's boring i don't know and they give somebody and they, they actually like start a family with or whatever. Cause all the, you gotta, sometimes it's like if you get lucky or not. Like some boys are gonna cheat, some boys are not gonna cheat. Like that's just that. You can't really expect somebody not to cheat on you. Like if I'm being honest with y'all, you really can't expect somebody not to cheat on you. Like it is what it is. And they cheat on you, no, but they really can't change. I don't know, they could change for you, but they could change for somebody else because it's somebody else. And you never know, that person will probably never be found out that, y'all, that you cheated on them or he cheated on them. But you know, cause you just you just like like that, like you always you know observing, and they probably never observe, so you really don't know. But I think men can change. It all depends on who they with, which is really like annoying, but that's what it is. I final question is well, it's more questions, like a lot more, but like my phone's about to die. It says my boyfriend, I wasn't talking. I'm sorry, wait, she this is so weird. <sighs> it's not really a question. I'm just like talking about it. She said my boyfriend and I wasn't talking, but he talked to another girl. So I don't know. Uh, if y'all wasn't talking, I don't know how long it was for. Like if it was for like if it was for like a couple of days, couple of weeks, then like he old then couple of months on uh, low-key old D and like keep kind of pushing it I don't know like I said they're gonna cheat if they want to cheat so you know, can't stop them but like sometimes like I don't know how to describe it like if you're not talking then hey like you know you're not talking what can you possibly do say like I mean I would I, honestly to be honest I would put the type of way like you're talking to another girl while we're dealing with our issues or whatever I don't know what the problem was maybe I just broke up because y'all wanted to break up or you had an issue but at the same time it's like you know like you gotta understand how to deal with that situation i'm gonna do a, a video on hygiene that's gonna be a whole different video another girl talk or whatever you yeah, want to call it how to deal with a boyfriend who still texting other girls he's not your boyfriend if he texts other girls because <laughs> i see how you put quotes and at least you know like if he's texting other girls then like you could stay with him if you want to stay that's on you if he's not fighting for you to stay with him nine times out of ten you should stay with him if he is fighting for you stay with him five times out of ten you should i don't know like it depends on what you want to do because if you look at stupid girl that's all different ball game like if you actually look at stupid like really like everybody knows like everybody but you knows like you your, your dumb ass don't know but everybody else around you's like mm, she can't cheat on mm, what's going on with that you know what i'm saying it's like all right girl like you need to get your head together you need to like focus like what you doing like, what, you, what you doing? Honestly, I don't know. I've been in a situation like a long time ago with the ex that I'm talking about. Like he 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 texted the girl and he said something that I didn't like. But he wasn't. I don't know if he was texting girl. Cause I never checked his phone. I I don't check phones. Like I didn't check phones back then. Like I I'm I don't check phones. But I didn't check phones back then. But like it was like people told me about. It. I never really saw it. people told me. And then he he never. He admitted to it, even though I didn't have no proof, he admitted it to it. So I was like, oh, so you did say that, you did do that. He was like, yeah, but it was nothing like that. It was a dare or something stupid. I was like, okay, whatever. So yeah, it's like, I don't know, like, the way I dealt with it, like, I'll be mad for a while, but I'm the type of, type of girl, like, I keep my feelings in, like, sometimes. Like, I'll, what I do sometimes, honestly, I'll let them text the person for, like, a, um, um, a long period of time, and I'll see... Like how long they gonna really do it for? Like if they don't know, like 
if they're just doing all some friendly stuff, like they're friends or whatever, okay, cool. Like, I'm gonna be like, you know, who's that? But then I'm gonna be like, you know, whatever. That's 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 cool, whatever. Y'all yeah, good. Yeah, I don't go. Whatever. Like, I'm gonna let y'all. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna let them do all that. But that's your friend. You text them, and you knew the friend before you knew me. That's different. But if you knew the friend after me, then that's a problem. But yeah, that's just how I am. Like, if you knew the person before me, automatically I'm be like, all right. But somebody new, no, you're not texting. Them. I don't care if your friends or not. Somebody before me, ah, uh, yeah, you could. That could be your friend. That's different. But like, yeah, if he texting the girl and you tell him to stop texting the guy, the, I mean the girl, and then he continue to text her, it's either he like her or she like him or something's going on. Because if it's a friend, they won't have no reason, they won't have no, um, how do you say, they won't have no problem not texting them back. They'll be like, alright, whatever, cool, whatever, that's just a friend, it don't matter. But if it was like a, a little fling, whatever they got going on, they gonna feel the type of way and don't try to, like, you know, don't fall for, like, them saying, okay, babe, I'm gonna text them. And they don't even show you nothing after that. It's like, okay, no. You have to watch them delete the number. Yes, you have to act like you're, you're a little baby. Delete, watch them delete the number. You have to watch them block the number. Even though they could get the number back because, I mean, Apple was not that smart. Even was supposed to be a smartphone. Um, and honestly, you don't even know where he got the number from. He could got the number from the social media, so he can just at, get the girl back, and that's that. Like, you know, if you don't know that they have each other on different social medias, you should look and ask them, like, do you have her on other social medias? Because if you do, delete her or whatever. And that would probably stop them from him from texting you. And you could do with that simple, like, already done texting them. But at the same time, if your boyfriend, whoever, if boyfriends in general are constantly texting girls, they're gonna come continue to keep doing it that's just how they are they could stop for a while that's cool but they're gonna always go back because that's just how they are so unless you like and it's not don't think it's you because it's, it's never really you it's just what they want to do so i mean you could just leave simple just be like all right you want to do that that's cool like am i if i was in that situation i'd be like you could do that that's cool with me like you know do what you gotta do that's what you want to do cool because i don't argue with pe i argue with people but like i'm saying as far as i'm not gonna argue with the girl and be like why are you texting my boyfriend? Why are you texting my man? Blah, 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 like all that extra stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna be like, all right, cool, whatever. You wanna do that? That's cool. But I'm gonna leave you. I don't got time for that. Period. That's all you gotta do. And if they try to make you stay, then y'all could try to work it out. But if it's continuing, continuously happening, you should just leave after that. There's no point in keep going back and forth. That's not gonna work, honestly. The last question I'm gonna talk about, because y'all keep on asking me about this, like, literally, y'all comment on my videos photo or uh, yeah ask me how do i do what, like how do i have so much confidence um i didn't have really have confidence before i think it's because i was always shy i'm not shy anymore but i used to be shy now i'm like an open person like if you want to talk to me i'm gonna like talk to you you know but like, i used to like be dumb shy like shy to talk to people all of that i used to be mad shy so like when i started um i don't know if it's because i started youtube but i started going to high school so i feel like when i when i once i got to high school i was like a different person of course you always different get to high school i feel like i was more open like i was more like oh i want to meet new people because i didn't really have people you know and i mean i'm bugging i did have people when i started high school but like I didn't have no people going inside this high school, like nobody that I knew in the same grade as me, like from the same school. You know what I'm saying? I knew people that was in that school already that had been graduated from my old school, but not nobody coming with me. I was by myself. I was the only person coming by myself, you know? So I was like, damn, man, I'm about to be so, you know, scared. I don't know what to do, but I have like a program for this high school thing. But the whole point is, um, I decided to like get so much confidence. I don't know if it was because like, I don't know why though. like. Cause I didn't get have YouTube until like I was a sophomore and I'm a junior now. So little, not even over a year yet. Yeah, like not, well it has been a year, but not more than a year yet. So yeah, I feel like YouTube did give me confidence because yes, if y'all watched my first video, I was super nervous. You can't really tell, but you're probably like, how you nervous to talk to a camera? It's, listen, it's a whole different vibe when talking to somebody. I mean, talking to a camera, right? Cause you know how people are gonna look at you. Like, you know, even though they, nobody's there right now, you, what you say, they're gonna like look at it and like oh like judge you based on what you say every little word that you say they're gonna judge you based on that that's why a lot of youtubers gotta be really careful about what they say and what they do so yeah and that's why a lot of youtubers are not real because they don't want to like be too real to the point where it's like oh like she's bugging what, what she said so yeah that's when you guys be like oh my god you're so real i'm like yes i'm the same person on camera and off camera this is just how i am because i I don't know, like, you could tell my confidence is up there. Like, I changed. I used to be shy to people when I was younger. Now I'm up there. Like, I'm like, okay, like, hey, my name is da da Easy. And also, like, I never thought I was ugly, but, like, a lot of girls just call me ugly. Not a lot of girls, like, OD, but, like, I had girls call me ugly. It was, I'm not going to say it was never a girl that, called me, that didn't call me ugly because girls called me ugly before, you know? Girls still say that about me. They be like, oh, she's not even that cute, blah, blah, blah. I'm, it don't really bother me because... 
Honestly, I know the truth. I know that I'm cute. You know what? Not to be cocky, nothing. I just know that I'm cute. I'm not gonna, you know, be sad about what somebody said about me when I know it already. What's one thing I can't do? I don't, I can't like be that one person that's like get the confidence and like, you know, be like, all right. I'm lit, like I'm cute, da da da. And then what one person says something about me, like my outfit, or says I'm ugly, yeah, my golf, my confidence immediately shuts down. That's not me. That's just not me. So yeah, it's just like I just learned to ignore, and I just learned to like distance myself from negative people. I don't understand how people can like stay around the same people that are mad negative and like constantly talk about them or constantly try to be funny when they're not funny. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just me. So yeah, that's how I build my confidence, that's how I gain confidence. A lot of y'all was talking about my makeup and how like how you feel about that way of makeup and stuff, how you have confidence like that. I mean like, it's like because like I wear, I don't know, cause I, I feel like freshman year, it wasn't the whole year I wore makeup. I would have my on and off days, but like most of the days I would wear makeup and everybody would just think that I wear makeup every single day cause they would just automatically see that like, oh makeup, 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 when they saw me I guess, I don't know. Or maybe I only caught them attention when I wear makeup, so you know, you never know. They probably didn't even, like honestly I do know that I don't know. A lot of people be like, you don't, you wear makeup all the time. I'm like, bro, I did not even wear makeup yesterday or the day before that. They be like, you didn't? I'm like, no. Like, you don't even notice that because you just waited for me to wear makeup to say something. I don't have perfect skin. I have dark spots. I have discoloration. I have, well, I don't have this. Yeah, pretty much. Kind of do. I have discoloration. I have a lot of dark marks. Y'all already know how I feel about my dark marks. It's really insecure. I really get insecure about that. But like, I learned to not really care because. If you want your skin to get better, it has to breathe at some point, you know, like, it cannot be packed with makeup all the time. That's just, like, not gonna help you out. So, brush off the negative comments, because that's really not gonna get you nowhere, so. But, you guys, if you guys want me to answer any more questions or do another girl talk, I already know y'all want me to do another girl talk, just let me know in a comment down in the description box below. No, the comment section below, I'm bugging. And what else? If you guys want this outfit from MTO Apparel, I got my link for MTO Apparel down in the description box below as well. I can't even talk. If y'all want to buy this outfit because y'all like it, I got the description. <laughs> Link in the description box for this, the, for the website from the, where this outfit is from. Down in the description box below if you guys want to purchase it, period. <laughs> I about to answer another question. But anyways, my phone dead. But yeah. But I was only supposed to make this mad short and it's actually mad long now. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. Bye, pretties. Ain't nothing with a chick that bad I ain't worried about that